Yo, so we're back again here. Today we're gonna look at the catch cans and I have about 6,000 miles. So what does 6,000 miles after I install these bad boys and let's see how much it caught. Um, that'd be good if it caught anything because that means it's doing its job. So we're gonna hit it with the 530 Penn's Oil. This is my go-to. Um, there's the Ultra Platinum you can also get, but this is at Walmart, it's like 22 bucks. So you do a lot of frequent oil changes, it's like, it's gonna be a good setup for you. And then anything you wanna talk about is Car Gazette. I just got my subscription box the other day. If you guys are a car guys, I definitely would recommend checking them out. I mean, look, I got this cool shirt on. Of course, if you watch Fast and the Furious, you know a thing or two about that. But yeah, I'm gonna show you some cool stuff in this box as well. You got shirts, remember the buster. Um, I'm wearing the shirt, the other shirt currently. You got air fresheners, posters. Just got a lot of stuff in here. There's also a microfiber towel that I, I'm actually using right now, so it's already taken out. So if you guys like a lot of cool stuff like this, subscribe to Car Gazette. All right, so there's a little lever thing you can check right here. So it, catch, it checks your level. Ooh, it's definitely a little bit oily. Swipe it down. Kind of like what you would do with an oil dipstick. Now it's a little bit harder to see because it is black, but um, it's about right here. So it has been catching oil. That's what it looks like. So let's, we're gonna take the whole thing out anyways. I just recommend checking it once in a while. And then also, of course, just removing um, when you do an oil change. This side looks just as grotty. Grody. But yeah, so just remove it. And let's see how much cans it catch. I forgot which side is which, but let's start with the one on the left. So I just removed it from the bracket. Just gives you more clearance to unscrew it. Let me see how much oil it has collected. Wow. <laughs> Whoa. That's a lot of oil. So it's doing its job. Let me see if I can get in the sun so you guys can see a little bit better. That's a lot of oil. So generally, the, this amount of oil would go into your intake valves, getting it all dirty, especially since we don't have direct injection. I mean, because we have direct injection, it's gonna get a lot, the valves are gonna get a lot dirtier instead of getting cleaned by port injected systems. So, cheers. So, um, I'm just gonna dump this oil out into this little pan. <sighs> Ignore the really dirty oil thing, but well, yeah, that's that was all the oil in the sucker. I'm gonna wipe it down, and then I'm gonna get the other side too. So I just installed the old one back in after removing the cans. Uh, for this one, I'm gonna try to just uh, not remove anything and just kind of go at it. See how much this one has. So, this one, not so much on this side. Um, smells like oil. There is a little bit, but not that much. Let me show you. So I have like a rag right here. I'm just gonna wipe. Just a little bit. It's just pretty much a stain right here. Um, right here, this, this like wet looking one. Not that much. So on this side, um, nothing you really have to worry about. It does capture a little bit, but not as much as the other side. The other one was a puddle. This side, it was mostly dry uh, with like, I would say like a two or three drops. All right, that kind of concludes it. ADDW1's catch cans have done a great job. They have really nice brackets and of course everything's constructed with nice high quality metal. I like this anodized finish right here. Now, what about catch cans in general or air oil separators if you guys have that too? They work, especially on my case this side. Did you see how much oil there was? It was insane. So it's really important for your WRX, especially with the direct injections. They don't have poor injections to clean those valves. You want to keep that oil off your valves. On top of that, get EGR deletes. 
and you should be set keeping your car nice and well for the next few years you drive it. That way you don't have to walnut blast it like every X amount of miles. That concludes it. Go grab these catch cans or any catch cans for the matter of fact, but these ones work very well in my case. Thanks for watching. Peace.